What's going on guys? It is Zite, and I'm going to show you the best possible guide you're ever going to see for Axton, this soldier. Um, as you can see here, his build is actually mainly into the gorilla tree. For them slags, man, you need to get them slags. Slag is basically the ultimate weapon for the level cap level 61, as where the baddies have a shit ton of hit points. And slag lasts a heck of a lot longer in the third playthrough now, so it is your best friend in every encounter. Now I'm going to go over all of these specifically in a moment, but I'm letting you guys take a look at how I have everything set up. And uh, notice that I'm spread out across all trees for some things, and I can give you some variations as well for some stuff that I might do differently if I were leveling up this character at that time. So let's get into the respec and show you how I would do it. Needs more turret! Alright, so let me just give you a little breakdown on the turret and uh, what it's used for in the third playthrough. You will not be using the turret for damage. What? Yeah, I know. That, that doesn't really seem to make too much sense. Now, I say this simply because even with slag damage, when your turret is attacking something, um, unless it's an extremely weak mob you're attacking, it could pretty much spend its entire duration attacking that mob. So, um, duration, all this stuff, it's all great, uh, don't really care about the damage so much because it's just there as a distraction to keep you alive, and when you hit the final point, which is, uh, where is it here, double up, your second gun on your turret, it gives you the ability to slag with your turret, so you don't have to switch weapons to, to slag yourself. So, uh, let's get right into it and I'll show you the duration of the turret without this talent point set up to max. The first thing you're going to notice here with these two different setups on my turrets is that the turret with 10 points is going to be firing like a bunch more volleys at the same time. So as you'll see the first one at the bottom right with 0 points is going to fire like 6 or 7 volleys. The one on the top left, the bigger screen, will be firing around 10 volleys at once. So it just kind of uh, not only increases the duration but the amount of shots it takes at the same time. And then what you'll notice too at the end when this turret, the main turret with the 10 points goes down, that even though it's like being, I don't know what you'd call it, anti-digestructed, it's still shooting while it's going down. So it can save your ass in tight situations too. Like watch this right here. Teleporting away, still shooting. So as you can see, it lasted a significantly huge amount longer with all those talents in it. Now, as I said, it's not a damage important talent, it's a duration talent so that your turret can stay out and serve as a good distraction for a much longer period of time. But let's move on to the next talent. Alright, ready is obviously a pretty simple idea here. Reload speed increases, and uh, I'll just show you what it's like to reload without it. Let's see here, I'll use a rocket launcher because those tend to take a long time to reload. Let's reload this puppy right meow. So, you know, tends to take a little while. Now let's put our points in and uh, see what it looks like. Alright, so as you can see, 10 points into this particular ability adds 80% increased reload speed. So that's freaking ridiculous. Again, the legendary mod makes it so that I can gain those extra retarded ass points. So let's uh, shoot, not blow ourselves up because, you know, that's that can be pretty bad, but take a look at the reload speed. Re oh, re okay, I, oh, yep, forgot, forgot this rocket launcher randomly doesn't take a shot. Boom, 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 reloaded. See how insanely fast that is? That is the moment of life and death when you are in your fallen state and you need to get yourself back up. Anyways, let's head on to the next talent. Alright, so your next tiers of talent in the Gorilla Tree, uh, you will be going 5 points into Willing, which improves your shield recharge rate and shield recharge delay. I'm not going to show you anything, basically, because I don't really have a safe way to show you, um, but just know if you're going to go ahead and use the B shield, this is an absolute must to use. Um, you will not bother with Laser Sight, because as I said, the damage from your turret is not significant enough to really care about, and this really is only useful on any mobs that move very quickly. So any of the mobs that are running around in normal mode, and uh, not normal mode, but as you're running through a level, uh, bosses, your turret is not going to miss a boss if it shoots at it. Chances are it's going to be stupid and shoot at the random ass mobs that are around, but 
you're lucky, uh, if it does. The rockets, you definitely want to pick up the rockets, simply because that does add damage, and they do a significant amount of damage more than just the bullets that come out of it. Uh, you'll ignore these two talents. Unless you're leveling up, you might want to put some into Able. Personally, I would not, because it, it's just not a significant damage boost. I'm going straightly for a DPS build, so damaged, it does nothing, it just helps you heal. But if you're really weak in the shield area, good idea. And I never like these kill abilities, because I'm always going for damage on bosses. Now we will go enough points into this, or Grenader, which is 4 points, so that you can just get to the next tier. Uh, Grenader just increases your grenade uh, capacity, so you can... I think I can pick up 14 grenades now? 13 grenades. So that's a shit ton of grenades, especially when you guys see the grenades that I'm using, which I will show you momentarily. And then from there you go crisis management, you max that out, and boom, you've got your gorilla final talent, which is 100% more guns! Which is awesome, it's your slag guns, and I'll show you the amount of damage now that your turret will do with the slag, as well as just shooting a general. Look at how badass that sucker looks, man. Rockets and slag and blowing shit up. Now that might seem like a lot of damage that this thing is doing. But like I said guys, when you get into the third playthrough, it does not do a heck of a lot of damage. Wow, I'm actually getting slow down the amount of crap going on. That's crazy. So uh, yeah, let's head on to the next talent. Alright guys, so now we're on to the next tree, which is the gunpowder tree. And I would start off with expertise because that allows you for fast weapon swapping, which is very important in situations when you've been downed. And like I said, with the spec, you are a glass cannon, so you're going to go down a lot. You need to pay attention to that. You can't kill everything at once. And uh, as much as you do have a nuke at the end of this tree, it, it is pointless. Do not spec into the nuke because it does barely any damage at all. Um, it's great in the second playthrough, but f terrible in the third playthrough. Anyways, I'll just show you this stuff real quick. Weapon swap, aim speed, and movement speeds. So as you'll see with the weapon swap speeds, they're pretty slow. As you can see. And hopefully with editing magic, I will have a you know corresponding video with the other speeds in the other corner. And then we have aim speed. It's actually pretty fast already. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm going to show you the movement speed difference now, and I've had quite a few issues trying to pull this off. Uh, I was going a short distance out first, so it really wasn't showing a huge difference in um, how much faster you go. So I'm hoping... No, you get out of my face! So I'm hoping <laughs> this time I'll be able to show a proper speed difference between the two routes. And uh, hopefully I don't fuck it up, because I've been screwing it up over and over. Alright, so we're back into the shooting range, and now I'm going to show you impact. Uh, again, you're going to put 5 points into this. Depending on what you have, you might have the legendary model like me, so you might be doing a lot more damage, but it's definitely good to put 5 points minimum no matter what. And I'll show you the damage without and then with. So this is without. 1.7 mil. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, not too bad at all. But let's see. Let's see what she looks like with... Oh, but a little more damage. 40% more. 40% more. That's not too much more, to be honest with you. Almost 2 million. But it's not too bad. So let's head into the next talent and see what's up. So the next talent we're going to talk about is the Steady Talent. Uh, it reduces recoil, increases grenade damage, increases rocket launcher damage. Now, I don't really care so much for the recoil reduction, but the grenade damage is really what I'm going for. The rocket damage, that's just a bonus. But I'm going to show you the recoil without um, the talent points put in there. So as you can see, I'm kind of flying all over the place, going a little nuts. And uh, yes, this is a TDR uh, pearlescent. Oh god, that actually almost killed me. <laughs> Not really, but you know. So let's put the, uh, the points we need into it. Five points, and shift over to the side and do the other side and see what it looks like for recoil. Now, as you can see, not really moving around quite as much. Still still a lot of recoil, but uh, not nearly as much as it was before. And it's going to kill me again. I don't want to eat my titty or... All right, so let's move on to the next. Oh, actually, you know what? Not, no. We need to move on to the grenade damage, which I didn't show you the original damage. But, you know, you guys are probably going to love my grenade. Oh, yeah, my grenades are going to kill me. i got to be real safe about throwing these grenades, man. 
Boom, boom, boom. Yes, these grenades are awesome. If you don't know how to get the um, the children grenades, they are from Boom Boom. And they're freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, let's check out rocket damage. Ow. I actually hit myself from over here. That's pretty crazy. This is a uh, E-Tech rocket launcher, so it's pretty awesome. But uh, as you can see, it, it ups the, uh, the damage. Two million damage with this thing. So that's pretty freaking awesome. All right, so you're probably relatively familiar with how your uh, saber turret works now, and it just drops wherever you pretty much throw it. But with the longbow feature, this thing is awesome. Um, I'll go outside to kind of show you what it does. But it allows you to throw it at, like, a mad crazy distance away. Originally, I used this with uh, the nuke ability so I could throw my nuke at shit. But as you can see, I just threw it across the map. Running, 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 running. Alright, so as you can see, it's just up there. But that's not the max distance. You can throw that thing just about anywhere, and it's extremely useful in most situations. Now, I would say if you went into the um, the support tree, I can't remember specifically what it is called, the survival tree, uh, I would not suggest it for the third playthrough. But if you're playing with a party and you're doing it in the second and or even the first playthrough, Longbow with the bubble on that can save your ass in so many situations. But uh, let's head on to the next talents. Do or die was a very, very useful perk, I would say. Um, being able to throw grenades, especially when those little bastards put you into fallen mode, or uh, fight for your life mode, and they run behind corners. We all know how that feels. You get frustrated, you want to blow them up, well, with this ability you can. But the bonus is, not only can you throw grenades when you die, you can also gain bonus damage on your rockets and grenades. So obviously, I'm going to take that. I mean, extra 10%, who wouldn't? But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a easy one to figure out. You need to take that. Uh, now I would not do duty calls and the next one we would do is just, uh, five points, I believe in battlefront, which is another good one. Cause when your turret is up, it does increase grenade damage and gun damage. Boom. 30%. Uh, now before moving into the final one, I would move over to the survival tree max out preparation especially if you're using the B shield like I had said before and if you're using the legendary uh, soldier class mod one point into healthy because then you can make use of that extra plus five points and boom you know that's that's just easy peasy right there and then your last two points put them into ranger because two percent of all these random ass stats is fantastic for your shields your health your damage pretty much everything and that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's the spec I use as a glass cannon right now. And uh, as you can see in the video that I showed you, that, uh, well, it wrecks Warrior's face in a pretty short period of time. But uh, that's, that's about it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. And if you've got any questions about the gear, uh, please don't hesitate to post a comment in the comment section below. And uh, happy looting, guys. Peace.